Welcome back to Talk to Me with the Coach Mike Weed Maiden as we're on the road in New York covering game two of the World Series and we stopped by Court Deli and we're visiting with Pete, manager. How are we doing today? I'm doing good. How you doing? Just fine. Well, you got about 1.2 million fans in Chicago that's watching this show and we ventured into Court Deli along the way on our scroll down in the Bronx. Tell us a little bit about Court Deli. Court Deli is, uh, has been in the neighborhood for um, 40 plus years or so. Uh, it's definitely um, a staple in the neighborhood, um, especially for Yankee games. It's pretty well known, especially by our regulars. Uh, it's kind of tradition for a lot of people to come here before the Yankee games, and um, it's been really fun. We've, uh, we've had it for about four years now, and um, every season's been great. It seems like they're getting better and better, so it's, it's been a good time. So who are some of the big celebrities that stopped through here on game day? Big celebrities on game day? Um, Besides the coach, of course. These, <laughs> these, these days, um, we get the people who work for the celebrities. Um, we, had a, we have another restaurant across the street, and um, in the 80s we used to get a lot of the players, but um, now, it's, uh, now we get their limo drivers, and we get... Uh, you know, people who work for the stadium and assistants and stuff like that. So you don't see that many high pro. We had Derek Jeter uh, stopped in traffic here um, right across the street um, a couple months ago, and he was nice to wave to some of our waitresses and stuff like that. So that was cool. Um, but, you know, it's mostly just loyal fans, really good fans. So you got, a, you got an influx of media fans coming to New York for this World Series, and you're about a half a block away or a block away from Yankee Stadium. So what does that mean to you and, and the New York fans? Well, I mean, it's great because um, this new stadium has been a way for us to kind of show the whole world, um, it, you know, kind of brag about uh, how proud we are of this new stadium and of our fans and of Yankee culture in general. I mean, we're, um, we like to think that we're some of the most loyal and rowdiest fans in the world. And now everyone all over the world gets gets to be a part of it and gets to witness it and it's uh it's a pretty special thing to be a yankee fan you guys being from chicago probably can relate i mean it's really uh uh something you're born into and you're and it's pretty intense so it's kind of cool that we get to show the world our new stadium and what we're all about well, you said the yankees fans were loud and rowdy now it's been some time since i've been in new york but i've actually been overwhelmed with the kindness of the yankees fans well uh New Yorkers get a bad reputation because we're very honest mm -hmm. and um, a lot of places um, that's interpreted as rude mm -hmm. and we're really we're, we're, we're good-hearted people we we care about one another but we we tell it like it is and um, that's always been a misconception so um come to New York we're not bad people I promise <laughs> they're pretty good Chicago they're pretty good now you know we stopped in here for lunch and uh, we had, I had the corned beef, which was pretty good, pretty good. I've been taking me some, a serving tonight for after the game when I get back to the hotel. Smart move. There so now, what, what's the specialties on your manuals? Um, the pastrami is uh, probably our best seller. Um, it's a lot of people go out of their way, uh, come from all parts of the city, come from Connecticut, come from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. They come see us first before the game for pastrami, corned beef, uh, just pretty much all of our cold cuts are, and loose meats are really popular here. I mean, we've, like I said, this uh, restaurant's been here a lot of years and um, I feel it's gotten better every year that we've had it. So we were able to integrate our personalities and our work ethic into an already established business. So it's, it's been a really positive thing all around. And just one last question for you. I noticed the name Court Deli. And I just so happened to look over the, across the street and notice the court there. Is that it, course it is? That is, that, <laughs> that is uh, in correlation with that, yeah. Okay. Uh, the coach on the road, New York. We're taking in the, the finest restaurants here. You know, I got to tell you, we'll be in Philly. We're leaving for Philly tomorrow. Oh. And I hear about Gino's, the famous steakhouse. We're going to be I, over there tomorrow. Have you beat the steakhouse? I've, I've been to Gino's and I've been to Pat's. Okay. Um, I, uh, I've been to Philly a couple times. And, um, yeah, we're better than both of them. They don't, they don't even compare. Okay, so if we come back for game six or seven, I'm going to come back and let you know, okay? We were, we were actually going to get a marker and cross off the word Philly in our Philly cheesesteak because we, we were so intense about it, but we didn't want to confuse anyone. So. See, Coach got some started in New York. <laughs> Coach on the road in New York with Pete at Court Delis. Thanks a lot.